I'm gonna let a few more people just give it like maybe one more minute before we jump into it. Got a few more, maybe Anna's jumping on. Good morning, good morning. I think Viviana is about to join. Uh, good morning, boss man. <laughs> See the chat. All right, wait for Viviana. See that she's joining. So once it, once she joins, then I'll go ahead and get started. Good morning, Mama Wen. <laughs> good morning, Floor, Barbara. Good morning. Oh, good morning, good morning. All right, well, I'm just going to jump right into it. It shows that baby Anna is joining on my end, but let's just get going. So um, good morning on this beautiful Wednesday. Um, today, we will be discussing building community with events. Um, this is very, very key. Um, so I'll be um, discussing today the importance of building community and what events. There's a variety of different events that can be thrown. Um, just to get more people involved. Um, as, as we know, community is one of our four components. Um, this is where we like to get clients or those who's like very, very curious about what we're doing, integrated with our com community, with like-minded individuals who want more out of life, right? And just focus on optimal health. So that's the whole point of these events, you know, a lot of times people are like, oh, why do we need events? Well, it's, it's key because we want to show people what's possible, right? Um, and as you all know that we do have our community calls, um, which is on Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, we also have our, our Tuesday calls at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And now with this whole new transition with the company, we also have our when together calls now, right? Um, which is Monday through Saturday at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then they also have it in the afternoon, which is Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So this is major, you know, they're opening different channels so that everybody can get integrated, just get that little pump, that energy to keep going. And that's what it's about. Um, besides these calls held um, by our top leaders, which was, you know, like I stated on Monday, Tuesday, then our Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, um, we also can create our own team type events, um, social events to help more people to be awakened, awaken about our mission, what we have available. Um, so that's key. So we can do our we can do ours on the side as well to make it exciting for our current clients, for people who may just inquire. Um, for anyone, to be honest, um, it should just be open to all because so many people just don't know um, what's possible. So we have to show them that. Um, and then the purpose of these events is to show new clients or those um, curious just how important it is to change your surrounding and also um, show them like this is a lifestyle, like this is not a diet. This is not something we're just doing just for the, you know, for the heck of it, because <laughs> we just want to lose a couple of pounds or like, no, this is something that we want to do for life. And just also want to show them how it is so much easier to do it together instead of dieting in the dark. Because so many people want to just be like, I don't want to tell nobody what I'm doing. I want to do it on my own. It's just like, well, if you could have did that, you would have already done it, right? So we're just showing them just the importance of doing these things together with like-minded individuals and just having fun at the same time, right? It's like no need to do it alone when there's so many people who want to do it with you, who's willing to cheer you on. So we want to show them that. We want to be really... Um, you know, are authentic, we want to be real, and we just want to show them that we care. You know, a lot of people, like they always mention on a lot of our meetings, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's like really, really true. So just show you care, be that person. Um, also, um, there's a lot of different events that we can host um, to get individuals excited. We want to get them going, right? And want them to know more or just continue on their own personal lifestyle journey. So like I said, it's just about awakening maybe those who don't know about the program, who wants to know more, or maybe just for those who are on their journey 
you know, after a while, you know, you lose that whole honeymoon phase, right? When you first start, you're pumped, you're amped, you're, you're actually weighing, you're lean and green. <laughs> it's like, you want to keep that enthusiasm going. And the way to do that is to create these events to get them going. So um, some of the events that can be host um, is like one is your health and hope event. I actually um, threw a few of these with my team, um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And man, I got like so many good vibes and people responded back to me in regards to how much they enjoyed it, even for ones who wasn't even a client. They actually end up being a client, being on there because they just saw the love of the community. So it's just a very cool event, the Health and Hope event, just to get the buzz going, you know, get everything going. And what I love about the Health and Hope event, it, it breaks down um, just in general our mission. You know, we just give them like a little snippet, you know, just to twinkle their little ears, just to get them going like, what? Get, get them more curious, you know, just to awaken them. Um, I also like the Health and Hope events because it provides testimonies depending on how you want to host it or set it up, you know, we have testimonies, people talking about, you know, their story, showing before and afters, those are key, because a lot of times people are visual learners, and showing pictures, or even maybe doing slideshows is major, and also I know the one that we had previously um, with our team for the Health and Hope, we did like frequently ask questions, because a lot of times we get the same questions over and over again, and with these events, it can kind of cover that, you know, for those who maybe don't want to talk to you on a one on one basis. It's like, OK, well, hop on this event we're having. And a lot of times people are more willing to do that because they don't feel as intimidated and it's more of an open platform. So take advantage of that um, and then just help people dream again. I know Sylvia did the part on dreaming on the last Health and Hope event just to get people thinking about what's possible. So health and hope event is key. So if you haven't thought of maybe um, doing one, please do one. Um, connect with your um, leader, you know, tell them like, hey, I wanna throw one. You know, what should I do? How should I go about it? And can definitely help and guide you on that. Um, the next type of event we can do is like a, a lean and green potluck. This one's key. You can have lean and green potlucks like at your home. If you have like a nice backyard or a spacious house, it don't even have to be big. Like just have a few people over and just have them sit on the couch, have a couple of chairs and just show them what's possible. Show them what's possible and how it looks to eat healthy. Show them that eating healthy could be fun, you know, and have program approved meals already prepared, you know, like, hey, this is the lean and green. This is, I got this from a recipe, you know, this is how much I learned doing this program. I'm cooking these delicious meals. Just get them involved. And like I said, this doesn't have to only be for clients, be for anyone. It doesn't matter. Just, just show them what's possible. People don't know. Every time when people maybe think of healthy, they think of like something disgusting, right? <laughs> Until we show them, they're like, oh my goodness, this is so delicious. Like I need the recipe. So that's a really good one. I don't know a lot of people get a lot of feedback from that. And with those lean and green potlucks, of course, you can have a moment where you're going a little bit over the mission of the program and um, getting their feedbacks, having testimonies before and afters, that's actually a great opportunity because people are eating and guess what? You can talk um, and a great time for socializing. Another um, good thing that we can do is hack parties. Um, I've actually done that a few times with um, my group. Um, this is a popular one. This is actually a hit with my clients where you're able to switch it up some and make the fuelings fun again. Because a lot of times, depending on how long your journey is, you can probably maybe get tired of the bars or the shakes and you want to figure out how to make it a different way, make it more fun, make it more enjoyable. So the hack party is very, very key. Um, like I said, for those who just want to switch it up some. Um, another way we can also do maybe going to the cafe. I know it was before when I first started on program, we went to this place called the Small Cafe. And it was really, really cool. We all just met together. Um, they specialize in like healthy, lean and green type meals, breakfast. Um, this gives you a chance to actually socialize, meet, gather, and just talk. Um, but whatever event you decide to host, make it fun. That's the key. Make it fun. And then express a need to all those individuals that you're inviting that they must be there and that you don't want to miss this event. Um, it's called FOMO. Fear of missing out. 
let them get that fear. Like, what? What's going on? Like, let me go. Like, yeah, come. Like, you have to be excited about it. They're just like, oh, come to my event. Now I'm like, no, like what? I want to go somewhere else. <laughs> so make it exciting and be excited about your own event. Create flyers, create flyers so you can stand out. Have like catchphrases on there. Um, make your flyer bright. Make it, I don't know, put pictures on there. Tell them who's going to be on there. Put a host. Like people are visual. They want to know what they're getting into, you know? And plus they want to know what is what is it in for me? You know, people, <laughs> people already know like, all right, what am I getting out of this? So make it fun. Um, you also want to invite everyone, friends, family, co-workers, the person at the grocery store, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Invite everyone. I'm um, going to invite them um, more than once. A lot of times you'd be like, well, I already told them about it. Okay, tell them again. Tell them in different ways. Like I said, you can tell them in a flyer. You can send them a video of you talking, send it to them, text message, call them, email them. How about print out the flyer, post it at maybe your gym or your kid's school at work, coffee shops, doctor offices. There's a lot of different ways just to get the word out there because you just want to tell as many people as possible. Um, you want to post on your IG or Facebook stories. I'm having this event. Set up Facebook event page. You know, set it up and send out invites to each and everybody. Um, do a countdown on Instagram. You know, Instagram has the whole countdown to get people hyped. Like, and this amount of time is about to happen. Do that. Just make it fun. Also, we, you know, Google Calendar invite. If you, you know, you have your client emails, you have other people emails, send out that invite because that's perfect to get people reminders because life happens, right? We forget like, oh yeah, I forgot about that event. So make sure you remind them, keep doing it. Um, and just know, like I said, people, people are forgetful. So that if they don't show up, don't take it personal. It's just that you just got to keep reminding them they'll most likely come on. And also just know it's a numbers game. So if you invite 50 people, people, half of them are going to say yes. And half of those yes, which is 25, um, only probably half of them will actually show up. <laughs> so, so that would be like 12 or 13. So invite a lot of people. Don't think like, I already invited 20, invite more. Also the event, make sure you are prepared with slideshows before and after during the event. Make it interactive, post in a chat, you know, tell them to post in a chat if you're doing it via Zoom, or if you want person, ask questions to get responses. Um, make sure you have an agenda and start, have, you know, have a start time and end on time, that's key. And most importantly, make sure when the event is scheduled to not cancel if all possible. I know I had that happen to me previous month just due to circumstances, but it's so important not to cancel the event because so many people are like, oh, like what happened? Yeah, just don't let that happen. Um, so I challenge you all to just brainstorm an event that you want to have and host it. Um, let's show everyone what's possible, either if, if that's healthy body, healthy mind, or healthy finances. Um, and I just want to leave you with like this African proverb, what I like, each one teach one. We know what's possible, right? Each one of us know what's possible and our lives have changed dramatically. So from it, let's show others, let's show others and spread knowledge for the betterment of our community because they don't know. It's up to us to show them. Um, so for all that, just let's get out there. Let's get it going. Um, let's be hype about what's going on this Wednesday and for the rest of the month. And James will post the action steps in our group chat, the decision. So go right ahead and get that going. And everyone just have a fantastic, beautiful Wednesday. Thank you, guys. Have a great one.